Hey, you guys are going to be drawing the face of the baby you create, and you're going to be looking at all these traits, right, that are controlled uh, by sometimes dominant genes and recessive genes, but sometimes there are some genes that we call incompletely dominant. For instance, for the trait shape of face, big R, which is round, is dominant over little r, which is square. Shh, Bryce. Recording. So if you have a big R, little r, you're going to have round. Same thing with the cleft of the chin. The cleft of the chin is this little kind of butt chin, right? That little kind of indentation in the chin. Shh. The capital or dominant is, if, is not to have it, right? So the little c is if it's present, if you have that little indentation. But what about hair texture? Now you got you got curly and you have straight, but I know it, it's, it looks like the lowercase letter means that straight is recessive and wavy is dominant, but look, if, I'm sorry, curly is dominant, but if you have both, Curly and way and straight make wavy. What that means is that both curly and straight, right, this is straight, are incompletely dominant. Does that make sense? So it's not one's dominant or the other, they're incompletely dominant. So let's look, Bryce. I need you to stop. Thank you. So now let's look at the way that you're going to do this. Everybody, every group of two is going to have a coin, and you're going to flip the coin. If you get two heads, that means you get the dominant trait. So if you get heads and heads, right, if you flip the coin twice for the first trait, that means you got big R, big R. That means you're going to go down to your sheet. You're going to write... Big R, big R, which is what? Right? If you go, you're going to go back up here, that's going to be round. And so you're going to do that with each of the traits. If I go and I get two tails, that's going to be the recessive. So that would be square, right? But if I get a heads and a tails, right, that's going to be like this. This would be like this. That means I'm going to get whatever that represents. And if it's dominant, if, the, if one's dominant over the other, which this is the case, then you're going to have to write the phenotype that it corresponds to. So if I got a heads and a tails for cleft in the chin, I'd look back up here and be like, well, what is that? Oh, that means it's absent, right? Okay? Absent. You're going to fill this out. And then you're going to get to the sex of the child to determine whether it's a boy or a girl, right? To determine the sex, you flip a single coin. Heads, it's a boy. Tails, it's a girl. So if you flip it, you get heads. And you're going to go over here. And you're going to go boy. You're going to put your name here. And you're going to name your child here. Right? <laughs> and then when you're done, right? You're going to, what did I have a round, what, I had a round face, right, with straight hair, right, I don't know, did I have no butt chin, whatever, right, right, anyway, so you draw your baby, and then answer the questions on the back.